Hi everyone, so as some of you may already know, I've been vegan for 10 years now, and just the other day I got a blood test taken, which included a lipid panel, so I thought it'd be interesting to go through my blood test results. And uh, I also thought it'd be interesting to compare my results to someone who's been following the carnivore diet. And I thought it would be best to compare myself to Frank Tofano, since he claims to have been following the carnivore diet for six years now. And he also claims to be a nutrition expert. And uh, he had a blood test taken a few months ago, which included a lipid panel. So we're going to compare uh, mine versus Frank Tofano's lipid panel. A lipid panel is a good way of assessing heart disease risk. So we're going to take a look and see uh, whether or not a vegan diet beats out a carnivore diet in terms of heart disease risk, at least according to a lipid panel. All right, so here is my blood test. Now I've blurred some things out just so that I don't get doxxed, but you know, you can see my name, Richard Burgess, age 28 years old, so this is definitely me. Um, and as far as the, uh, as far as everything goes here, the hematology and uh, you know, the glucose HbA1c, it's all normal, everything's within the reference range, you know, you can pause the video, take a look at it, but nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm just, uh, you know, according to this, just normal, healthy. And here's my lipid panel. So uh, I was fasting for six hours before I had this test taken. So basically what this means is uh, before I had my blood work taken, I had a meal six hours beforehand. And uh, in case we were wondering what that meal was, it was just a plate of lentils with some broccoli. So, uh, triglycerides. My triglycerides were 0.43 millimoles per liter. For those of you who are American who don't normally use millimoles per liter, this translates to 38.09 milligrams per deciliter, which is quite low. Ideally, you want your triglycerides below 100 milligrams per deciliter. I'm obviously a lot lower than that at 38. Now compare this to Frank Tofano. His triglycerides were 157 milligrams per deciliter, which is fairly high. That's above uh, the range that's considered ideal. So compared to me, he does have an elevated risk of heart disease when it comes to triglycerides. And a lot of people who are following a carnivore diet or any low carb diet, they think that just because they're eating low carb, that will keep their triglycerides low. Well, that's not necessarily the case. If you're also eating a high fat diet, that can also elevate your triglycerides. A lot of people think that if they eat a high carb diet, that'll you know raise their triglycerides. No, that's not necessarily the case. I eat a high carb diet, uh, but I also eat a diet that's very high in fiber and low in fat, and that can also help to keep your triglycerides low. So vegan diet beats out carnivore diet in this case. Cholesterol, so my total cholesterol was 3.08 millimoles per liter. This translates to 119.1 milligrams per deciliter. So ideally you wanna keep your total cholesterol below 140 milligrams per deciliter, so I'm well within the healthy range. Compare this with Frank, uh, his total cholesterol was 319 milligrams per deciliter, which is over double what it should be, so his cholesterol is really, really high, which isn't surprising. He eats a diet that's very high in saturated fat, cholesterol, and low in fiber. All those things are going to elevate your serum cholesterol, so he's putting himself at risk for heart disease. Uh, so again, vegan diet beats out the carnivore diet. Next up is HDL cholesterol. HDL is considered your good cholesterol, and uh, basically you wanna keep uh, your HDL high and uh, your total and LDL cholesterol low. So my HDL was one millimole per liter. This translates to 38.67 milligrams per deciliter. Now, some people might consider that low, but it's not low in context with my total and LDL cholesterol score. Generally speaking, when your total and LDL cholesterol go down, your HDL is also going to go down. Uh, so a better way to look at this is your cholesterol to HDL ratio. My ratio was 3.1. Ideally, you want your cholesterol to HDL ratio to be below four. So 3.1, that's again, well within the healthy range. Now compare this with Frank. Frank's HDL was 48 milligrams per deciliter, which is 10 points higher than mine, but in context with his total and HDL, or sorry, his total and LDL cholesterol score, his HDL is extremely low, and if you take a look at his cholesterol to HDL ratio, it's 6.65, which is astronomically high. Again, he should have a cholesterol to HDL ratio below four, He's at 6.65, so again, uh, really high risk for heart disease. 
So vegan diet wins out again. And uh, next up we have LDL cholesterol. So what you'll notice here is it says calculated. Uh, what that means is they didn't actually measure my LDL cholesterol. They used an equation to estimate my LDL cholesterol. Uh, there's a little bit of an inaccuracy with that. Um, there's about a 10% margin of error, so keep that in mind. Now, my LDL cholesterol was 1.88 millimoles per liter. That translates to 72.7 milligrams per deciliter. Now, ideally, you want your LDL cholesterol to be below 70 milligrams per deciliter. That gives you the lowest heart disease risk. I was slightly higher than that at 72.7. Um, not a big deal. And also considering this is my calculated score, not my you know actual tested score, if I had to guess, my actual LDL would probably be below 70. But not a big deal. I'm still at very, very low risk for a heart disease, according to this lipid panel. Now, compare that to Frank Defano. His LDL was 240 milligrams per deciliter. That is ridiculously, astronomically high, and with an LDL cholesterol score that high, he is massively increasing his risk of heart disease. Um, I'd recommend you all read uh, the paper put out by the European Atherosclerosis Society. Uh, the higher your LDL is and the longer uh, duration of time your LDL stays elevated, uh, the higher your heart disease risk is. So Frank Defano is not doing himself any favors by following this carnivore diet. So I think it's safe to say that my vegan diet is healthier than Frank Defano's carnivore diet, at least when it comes to heart health. My total cholesterol is lower, my triglycerides are lower, my LDL is lower, my cholesterol to HDL is also lower than Frank Defano's. So by every metric that can be uh, calculated on a lipid panel, I have a much lower risk of heart disease compared to Frank. Despite Frank claiming that his diet is far superior to mine, it's what humans are supposed to eat. But tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Whose diet do you think is better? Uh, and tell me what you think about my uh, blood test results. Uh, tell me if I missed anything. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. <laughs> What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.